Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm here to present to you a paper titled and optimization based feature selection scheme for cloud intrusion detection using naive based algorithm. Uh, this paper is one of the selected papers in the 20th International Conference on Intelligence Systems Design and Applications. Um, by introduction, my name is Dr. Shafi Muhammad Abdul Hamid and I'm representing my co-authors, that is Haruna Atabu uh, Christopher and uh, Professor Senji Misra, Isaac Adang and Mayokon Mahon Sharma. So to start with, I would like to present to you the outline of my presentation. Uh, which goes like this. I will start with the introduction then I will discuss about related works and then I will discuss about the proposed uh, scheme. That's the model that we are proposing. Then I will discuss about the results obtained after experimentation and the evaluation. Uh, then I will go to the conclusion. Then uh, I will also present you some relevant references. So by introduction, we all know that cloud computing system is one of the most used uh, computing facilities of recent and um, it offers resources to users. And uh, we have a third party who is the uh, cloud providers that provide services to the users. Uh, one of the reasons why the cloud computing becomes so popular was that it's, uh, it has a lot of benefits, including scalability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness, especially when you are dealing with large scale uh, computing uh, resource. So, but the cloud system is not without some security concerns, which we are more interested in in this paper. Uh, so as a result, we have some intrusions from outsiders and also from insiders trying to get access to resources that are not uh, that are not allocated to them. So uh, one of the re one of the ways that uh, the cloud providers use to detect such uh, intrusions is that uh, they use a lot of all different types of applications that are called the IDS, that's intrusion detection uh, applications to detect intrusions from traffic that are not uh, supposed to be uh, allowed to assess the resources. So, uh, but this, uh, over the time, it shows that some of these uh, intrusion detection systems are not very effective in the cloud system because they are actually not meant for the cloud system. Most of them are adopted from the traditional uh, network systems, intrusion detection systems for networks. So they are just uh, traditional IDS, not very fitting for the cloud system. But of recent, some machine learning and artificial intelligence techniques has been used to demonstrate the effectiveness of IDS in the, in the cloud system. So today we shall be presenting to you uh, some of these uh, techniques. So the problem background and the statement, uh, attackers either from within or from outside the cloud system, most cases as we discussed in the introduction, try to assess resources that are not meant or are not allocated to them. As a result, it costs uh, a lot of uh, losses to the, to the cloud providers or to the administrators. So therefore, uh, in this paper, we try to make some contributions which are outlined as follows. We will be presenting to you cloud IDS uh, using the, that, that will be used for classification uh, using the knife based classifier. And then we shall be also 
presenting to you uh, a future selection system using the ant ant lion optimization, which is also called the ALU algorithm for future selection. The ALU algorithm, as we are going to see later, is one of the newest algorithms for future selection, uh, for optimization, sorry. It's for optimization, but it's now adopted to be used for future selection. It was first introduced by one of the Iranian scientists called Ali Miljamili. Uh, so after the future selection and the classification, we're going to see the results as uh, it, it, um, as it performs before and, and, and after future selection. And we're going to also present to you results uh, of evaluation in, in line with other previous ones. So uh, in recent times, some of the scientists already presented um, some AI and machine learning algorithms to see how they can tackle these systems of intrusion in the, in the cloud. However, as I mentioned earlier, most of them are for traditional network systems. So the first reference you can see they actually uh, proposed use of uh, 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 genetic algorithm, but the drawback is that it's meant for network intrusion detection system. It's not properly meant for cloud system as a result the restriction of cloud systems that is a little bit different uh, from the traditional network system uh, makes it basically ineffective in the in terms of detection of the intrusions of uh, such uh, malicious packages also we've seen a naive bias with random forest that was used, but basically just on the virtual machines. And then uh, we've seen also a data mining approach was used, uh, but also that was used for only masquerading attack. So the proposed scheme or this proposed model will look like this. We're gonna have the packet, malicious packets, and uh, normal packets coming into the cloud system. The ALU, which is the antlion optimization algorithm, will be used for, for future selection. And after future selection, uh, a classifier, naive bias classifier, will be used to detect anomalies uh, uh, from the database that will be sent of the packets. And uh, depending on whether a malicious packet is detected or not, a notification alert will be sent to the cloud administrator. So that is actually how the, the IDS works. So in this case, we have the cloud IDS, C IDS. So this is the model and we're gonna use a data set from NLS uh, KDD. Uh, which is the newest KDD version of the data set to do the experimentation. So the major components of the scheme or the model presented uh, will include a cap packet capturing, then the intrusion detection model using the, uh, using the ALU for future selection and naive bias for classification. Then we're gonna have a storage model, uh, behavior-based, central log and then the alert system that will notify the administrator of the cloud whether an intrusion is detected or not. So based on that model, we did an experimentation using the KNLS, uh, NLS KDD uh, data set, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, for those that are interested, you can check the reference for the where you can see this data set. So we did the classification using the uh night bias algorithm using 10 folds 30 folds and 65 fold split of the data set so this is the result as you can see the accuracy of the algorithm at 10 folds 90 90 percent plus also at 20 folds 90 percent plus and uh, at 65 as 66 split we also have 
five nine three one six percentage of uh, accuracy of the algorithm this accuracy is not really very nice however this is the classification before the alu is applied so let's see the results when the alu is applied after the alu is applied alo is applied after with to do the feature selection we got this result uh 96 percent 96 percent 96 percent at 10 folds 20 folds and 66 percent split respectively and we also got uh the f measure to be 0 0.961 at, at different folds uh the f major changes also the false positive rate does the false alert also show to have reduced after the feature selection with the ALO does the antlion optimization algorithm for future selection system. So this is the accuracy before and after, uh, as you can see, uh, before the antlion was applied, the accuracy is a little bit low at 90% plus, but when we apply the antlion at different folds, uh, 20, 10, and 66 split, it shows that the accuracy of the scheme or the model has improved. Also, this is the false positive rate before and after future selection. And then this is the recall also before and after future selection, before in blue and after future selection in red. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, we have in this paper proposed CIDS does cloud intrusion detection system, which uses antlion optimization algorithm for future selection. And we also proposed um, Bayesian classifier, that's naive bias for the classification of malicious packages coming into the cloud network. Uh, the result of this experimentation shows that uh, the proposed CIDS with antlion and uh, Naive bias classifier shows high accuracy and low false positive rate. Also, it shows high detection rate. So uh, it's proposed that such an algorithm can be applied for normal cloud computing systems. Uh, since these are some of the relevant references that we've used, we've conducted. And uh, I thank all of you for listening to my presentation. Thank you very much.